Oh my goodness of vlogmas Christmas is nearly here today is Friday and whew, I'm hoping that today is gonna be my last day where I'm really doing it that much work because I think that most people will be off from now on so hopefully next week will be pretty quiet email wise fingers crossed I don't have any more campaigns that I need to shoot but I do have obviously more vlogs to go up but yeah today I'm hoping to just tie up a lot of loose ends. I am also doing my last post office run today with the giveaway prizes so I'm really sorry if you didn't hear from me by now then I'm afraid that you are not a winner this time but I have now chosen my 12 winners. Everyone that agrees with it I will leave the winners um, down below just so that you can have a look and double check if you would like to but this morning I'm gonna do something that I have been promising for so so long and I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and show you the coach house it's not a very beautiful day today so lighting wise it's not gonna be perfect but it is a humongous transformation since when I last showed you I think you're gonna be amazed I would definitely go ahead and watch the video where I last showed it to you before we had any work done just to remind yourself because it is the most incredible transformation. I'm gonna quickly show you my outfit of the day and then we'll head over. I feel like I just, I'm so predictable with what I wear at the moment. It's always comfy leggings and a nice cozy top. You will, however, be surprised as to wear this whole outfit from the boots. I think the boots are a giveaway. If you watched my videos last year, then you will most probably recognize these boots. If you watched my videos back in January, you'll recognize these boots. Every time it is a snow day or if I'm going for a long walk throughout winter 2019-2020, as in the beginning of the year winter, these were my go-to boots and I pulled them out to share with you in today's video because I'm going to be sharing loads of my favorites from Amazon fashion. And yes, <laughs> would you believe it, these boots are from Amazon. My entire outfit is from Amazon, which I think is amazing and also great if you are looking for some last minute gifts because of course Amazon's a great place to ensure you get next day delivery on lots of your items. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> I did double check that these were still in stock before featuring them today because I know last year they sold out during the winter and I got so so many messages about them but they are currently in stock. These boots are so comfortable, they are waterproof. I wear them as walking boots because even though they have got a very sturdy sole, they're actually very flexible, like you get a lot of movement in these boots. They have actually got this gorgeous gorgeous soft shirling, 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 um, lining. It goes all the way down. You know, sometimes it stops and then it's not so comfy. Well, the whole of these boots are lined in this gorgeously soft material. I just think they look so lovely. I really love the alpine trend and that alpine look. And yeah, love, love, love these boots. What can one say about black leggings? Well, <laughs> one of the reasons why I love these is they are so high-waisted. They literally hold my entire tummy in, literally come up to here. They are so, so comfortable. And then you can't really go wrong with a classic brown roll neck jumper. I have accessorized with my Monica Vinader Doina necklace. I didn't actually realize this, um, but the link that I shared, and I'll pop it in the description box to this video as well, but the link that I shared when I worked with Monica Vinader on a video gives you 20% off. So yeah, if you are looking for any last minute jewelry, gifts or treats to yourself, then check out the link in the description box because shopping through that link will get you 20% off, which is amazing. And then I've got my Alex Monroe Baroque Pearl Earrings in. You can get 10% off with my code Josie10. Oh my goodness, it is the time of year for the discount codes. And then on this hand, excuse my nails, I have got my Majuri rings and my Raimi ring on my fourth finger as well. So that is my outfit of the day. Time to head over to the coach house. I'm so excited to show you the changes and 
I'm also very excited to say that my mama, Lilla, has now moved in as well in time for Christmas. Hallelujah. It looks gorgeous over there. She is absolutely smitten. I'm so, so glad. It's still not 100% done, um, but I was basically just waiting for the bathroom to be finished or nearly finished. I think the plumber is actually there right now um, before I showed you because the bathroom was kind of letting it down a little bit before, but it's a huge transformation. So let's go over and have a little look. So you might remember in summer, Charlie and I spent quite a long time adding, oh, I can't remember the name of the oil now, Ol, Ol, I want to say Olaplex, but that's not right. So the door looks lovely and inviting. And then this is the wreath that I made in the Pixie Masterclass. Looks so lovely and festive. Let's see if she's home. Mm -mm -mm. So you may not actually recognize this area at all because it is so, so different to when you last saw it. Basically there used to be, this used to be all closed off so you'd come in and it was like a long corridor. I will pop in any pictures if I can <laughs> find any, but this was, this did luckily have plumbing. So we've got a washer, tumble dryer in there. Lilla very kindly <laughs> allows me to come and tumble dry my towels. I'm hoping we might get a tumble dryer in the house next year if we can <laughs> find somewhere to put it. One of mum's friends actually had a, a spare <laughs> Belfast sink. So we have installed that. This is obviously really beautiful bespoke carpentry on the floor. We have got a really beautiful herringbone design and I think the actual name of this was Farmhouse Oak, which is absolutely perfect. And then, Lilla, can you remember what colour the we painted the cupboards in? Is it Gobi? Gobi. Gobi. Graham so the and Graham and Brown, yes. So the cupboards down here are painted in Graham and Brown's Gobi, and the walls, I believe, are Crown's Delicate White, which is our favourite shade. So this was all made bespoke by a local carpenter. We've got a lovely bronze tap in here. I just think it looks so welcoming when you come in. She's got lots of lamps, obviously some <laughs> Christmas decorations in here at the moment. And this area is really nice as well, very practical for hanging your coats or your caps. She's put some bronze hooks up there. So this was really a joint effort between Charlie and I and Lilla. We came up with the ideas together. In here is the washer dryer. Those are my towels. <laughs> They'll be coming back with me in a second. And then, do you remember the bright red wall and the metal staircase? <laughs> well, this is <laughs> the transformation. We now have this beautiful oak staircase with a really lovely carpet going up. This is Korma Carpets. Um, I think this was called the Farnham Fleece Carpet, which was lined and installed by Gaskin. She's got a very practical understair cupboard. I'll show you a wide angle of this downstairs bedroom another time because this is basically Santa's grotto at the moment where Lilla is doing all her Christmas wrapping, but I will show you this lovely corner. Was it your friend Dee that gave you these curtains? Yeah, I bought them from her. Yeah, they are lovely. They work so perfectly because the colours in here um, are kind of warm blues and she's got her Christmas tree outside, which is really nice because you see it when you come in through the driveway, so it's a nice little festive, uh, festive viewpoint. Lovely armchair, and again we have the Kormar carpets in here, which are really lovely and soft underfoot. Da, 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 da. Not showing you any of the Christmas gifts. So here's a view from above of the stairs. It twists round. We've got a chicane here <laughs> to stop the dogs charging down. And then on the walls, this used to be the red wall. You might remember this used to be a burgundy red colour, but it's now a uh, gobi or canvas, canvas, the same as our family room, the colour of this wall, Graham and Brown's canvas. And we've put in these lovely lights from RV Astley and it just gives it the most beautiful finish. It looks really contemporary. And I just think this whole staircase area is gorgeous. Dickie, what have you found? <laughs> Naughty boy. And we have this new, newly created um, landing area. Because we changed the direction of the staircase, it's created this whole additional floor space up here. And then, dun dun dun, how gorgeous and cozy is this? Oh my goodness. So Lilla has bought her furniture from her old house, but we actually had it recovered. So this, um, the sofa, the footstool, and the armchair behind me are covered in Sanderson fabrics. 
Was that cushioned Sanderson fabric as well? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. It just goes so nicely together. Yeah. Look how beautiful this is. So this, was this yellow before? It was that gold, rusty colour, wasn't it? Yeah, but it looks so gorgeous in this more sage green colour. Are you helping mummy? Are you? And Lulu's here. Lala's doing the ironing, so I'm not going to show you, <laughs> show you behind. But with the Christmas decorations, the best bit about the coach house is this view. So that is the Winderton Hill that we go on on our dog walks. Christmas tree, his lordship making himself comfortable. Are you reading Country Life there, sir? Is this your favorite magazine? Oh yes, I like to find out what the other sausage dogs are doing at Christmas, you'll see. The kitchen is an area that we haven't tackled yet. Oh my goodness, I didn't even mention. So the ceiling is now white glove from Crown and the walls, are the walls delicate white and the ceiling white glove? Yes. Yes. I used to know it all off by heart, but they all start to blend into one. Do you remember the ceiling used to be orange? We used to have bare orange wood, but we have painstakingly, literally painted it, except for the cross beam, which I think looks stunning. And then this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous hanging light that Lala chose from Jim Lauren. We also replaced the stove that was in here. It was just a little bit old, <laughs> a little bit aggro. Um, yes, you two. Oh, we also buffed the floor up. This is another footstool that we covered in Sanderson fabric. There was nothing wrong with the floor in here. We just needed to buff it and it looks much better. We did want to have a double-sided stove. <laughs> Hello, Lulu. Lulu in the background. Because um, then you get to enjoy it whether you're in the family room area, the sitting room area, or the <laughs> kitchen. This is always what happens when I crouch down when I'm filming. I get company. You're so silly. And then it was really important that we got, um, <laughs> dear lord, you two are so helpful. We got a carpenter to stop it, minx. I'm trying to show this. Stop it. To build a little lip around this area because it was toe stubbing central otherwise. <laughs> Treats from Granny. Treats from Granny. Thank you so much. We love coming over here. We always get treats. I think this area looks really lovely as well. So she's got a couple of picnic baskets and nice drawers from her old house and a little stool. And then we've got some Christmas trees on the wall and this most incredible light. Where did you choose this from? Uh, Jim Lawrence. Yeah, I thought so. It just works so nicely because sometimes in the future, this field will be full of wheat. So it ties in really, really nicely and it just makes such a, huh? Oh, wow. So you're going to have wheat out there, wheat up here, and just a nice little area back here as well. I think the layout of the furniture is so perfect. Bookcase, lovely old lamp. Yeah, as I was saying, we are going to do the kitchen as phase two. Nothing hugely wrong with it, but I think we'd like to jazz it up. Through there is um, spare bedroom slash Lilla's dressing room, currently a bit of a, a builder's den. And then through here, oh my goodness, this is possibly the best transformation. This is Lala's new bathroom. It is literally one day old and I'll pop a photo in here of how it used to look. Wowza. So we were very grateful to Roper Roads who actually supplied us with the bits and bobs in here and they could not be more perfect for this space. So there's, what do you call this? Is it like a, just a mini bathtub? It's a, it's a mini slipper bath. It's mini slipper yeah. bath. Perfect size for Lilla and for sausages. And I think it's really striking how the, um, the pipes are visible. It just looks really, really great. Handheld shower, but then of course she's got a big shower unit here with subway tiles. You just walk in here, excuse the paint cans. Tuscan olive, again from Crown on the paneling, which looks amazing. The colors in here are just perfect. So it all kind of started color wise because we chose from the Tavistock collection from Roper Rhodes and they had this really beautiful, it's almost like a gray, light olive color. Pebble gray, but it looks so nice when compared and contrasted with more of an olive green. So that's what she's gone for in here. The sink is really, really practical. So she's got plenty of surface space for toothbrushes, <laughs> flannels, very bougie Bamford hand wash. And then this mirror 
is great. <laughs> I wish I had a mirror with this lighting in the house. It's the same pebble grey shade. This is also from Rope Rose. And then you've got this, I think they call it beauty lighting around the edge, which is perfect for doing your makeup because the only natural light we have in here is the one roof light. The floor is Amtico's Spatia Limestone Cool, and it is absolutely perfect in here. Don't you agree, Dexy? She's got, oh, sorry, Lin Lin. She's got some decorative features, little table down there with a diffuser. You may know that I am working with Dr. Vranquez on my Instagram, and I didn't actually realize, I knew it looked vaguely familiar, but this Dr. Vranquez is actually from Sudafushi, which is the Maldivian island where Charlie and I met, and we didn't realize that this is from Dr. Vranquez, so it's actually a brand that we have always had in our house. And then she's got some little shelves with a choice selection of beauty products. It is just such a transformation here. Are you happy with it, Lilla? Very, very, Looks extremely happy. Gorgeous. I um, had my first bath. Oh, did you? Yes, in candlelight because... Uh, <laughs> you don't have candlelight. lights. Yeah. No, it's nice with the tea lights. It just looks amazing with the panelling. Yeah. I think I'd like some piece of artwork up there. I don't oh. know what yet, but I think I'd like something up there. Yeah. I think it's just seeing it and knowing that that's the right thing. What gave you the idea to do the panelling? I, I don't really know. I think it was from downstairs, from, from loving that panelling um, in the boot room. Mm. And then I thought, well, I just didn't want tiles all over the place again. Yeah. I think because they were so awful, the tiles that were here. True. And I just wanted, I wanted it to be crisper and also contemporary. So. Well, it looks fabulous. Thank you. I'm just waiting for the radiator. It's oh, yes. going to be a mahoosive big panel. It's not actually a towel rail radiator because I just wanted a big radiator to really heat the room. Well, it looks brill. Let's see your bedroom. Again, I won't show you too much in here because it is a, um, a builder's <laughs> builder's room at the moment. Dexy, you do clamber on everything. You may recognise some of the furniture in here if you watched my vlogs while we lived in Clapham. There's the wardrobe. Looks amazing. Our local upholsterer did the blinds for Lala. La. Um, yes, yeah, so there's the wardrobe. Dexy modelling the footstool, which does actually ping out as a single bed. But then round here, this is our sofa bed that we had in Clapham, um, or our sofa that we had in Clapham that does ping out as a sofa bed. So when we're allowed and Lilla wants to have some guests, we can have a full house because she's got the bedroom downstairs and she could also host people in here as well. And the walls, one of Lilla's favourite paintings, the walls are uh, ballet shoes from Crown, which is another shade that we absolutely love, and it's the same shade that we have in the pink bedroom. You're such a silly boy. Come on. And then this is the view going back down the stairs. We have a lovely mirror up here. It's a good height for Lilla and I because we are both fairly small. <laughs> fairly small. And this is Lilla's extremely cosy bedroom. The guys at Gaskin luckily were able to source um, bronze carpet dividers for us, which is great because it just <laughs> suits this place a lot better. And then this is Lilla's bedroom. It is so, so cosy. I'm actually a little bit jealous how cosy it is. So this is matching the uh, wardrobe that we had in Clapham. Was this in the dressing room back at Lower Islands? Mm. No, Lower Islands, you had that as your dressing table, didn't you? Yeah. Gosh, so we and have... And I had it at Stable Cottage. I don't think they make this furniture anymore, sadly, but it was from a company called Kingstown, and it was their signature furniture range, in case you wanted to try and find it online. This is the pink armchair. We only just got this up here yesterday from um, Clapham. Another of Lilla's favourite paintings. Did your mum paint that? No, but I always think it's my mum. <laughs> oh, it looks like her. Grandma Josephine. A very, very lovely colour glow in here. Is this canvas or gobi? That's... Canvas. Canvas from Graham and Brown. Mm, white glove. White glove on the ceiling. Again, we've kept the beam um, showing, but then got rid of the orange beams. She's got Velux windows, another blind made by the local reupholsterer, another lovely wardrobe. Dexter, you really look at these two. I cannot take you anywhere. This is the blanket that Victor and Rolf very kindly sent us, and it just works perfectly for the colours in here. You're so naughty. Come on, you two. Kia, Mum. Oh, nice bedding. Where's this from? That is lovely. Really nice. You're naughty. Get out of it. Very, very nice. Even the light switches in here. Obviously, we replaced everything, but I just... Oh, 
How come that one's got That's a ribbon around it? So that no one switches it on because it's oh. the big halogen light over the field. Ah, but we've got these lovely bronze, what do you call it, light switches, and she's changed all her plugs for bronze as well, just to finally show you how these lights look when they're on. It's just such a lovely, cozy space, lovely warm glow. What do you think, Lin Lin? The best thing about it is when we come up here, we always find our brother. This is Louie's house. Are you happy here, Lulu? So a little Lulu update for you. He's, he's a poorly boy. Not really very mobile anymore, are you, Lulu? He's an elderly chap. He's gone from having his, um, his wheels to not really having the strength to use his wheels anymore. But the good thing is, my mummy doesn't mind taking me around in a wheelbarrow, and luckily there's plenty of wheelbarrows here, so I still get to join in all the fun. And I'm really happy to get to see my brothers quite regularly. We love you, Lulu. We love you, Lulu. We do. You are very handsome. Yes, you are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're posing, Lilla. Thank you for showing us around the coach house, and I've also yeah. just realised we're wearing the same outfit today. Very well. Actually, we are. <laughs> Even to the gold chain. Yep. Is that your miss at my necklace? Yes. Yes. Looks wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for letting us in. You're very welcome. Right, you two. Vamos. So that is the coach house update. I hope you enjoyed that little tour. It is so lovely having Lilla nearby. I'm just excited for lockdown to be over so that she can join in some local clubs, make some friends. I think she wants to join ballet, tennis, golf. Lilla is very much a social lady, so I'm sure she will throw herself in when everything opens up again. Just come back in here because, as I mentioned, I'm working... Oh, I need to redo my nails. Keep getting caught in my hair. I'm working with Amazon today, which is perfect timing because as I mentioned, it is so easy to get those last minute Christmas gifts. There are still a couple of things I need to order from, for Charlie from Amazon, um, especially if you've got Prime because you can get it next day. But let me show you a few of my favorite, what I'm gonna call wardrobe solutions from Amazon Fashion. It's not the first place I would think of when it comes to fashion, but they have some really great bits and it's just so convenient. I like to mostly look for, as I said, wardrobe solutions, but the outfit that I'm wearing today is from Amazon. Let me just show you. And these are some of the other bits which I have got recently. Sorry to be showing you Calvin Klein underwear, but it literally is just the best place to get those very comfortable <laughs> items. I've had one of these before in a nude color and I ordered the white because it is the best for a t-shirt bra. It's very, very lightly padded. It doesn't actually move unlike so many other t-shirt bras because it's actually got excuse my nails, um, a grippy section here. So great for, I guess, more in the summer months, but also maybe for festive. If you're wearing something wonderful on one of your Zooms, highly recommend this as a strapless bra. They have loads of Calvin Klein on Amazon. It's the best, definitely the best place to get things like that. These are the socks <laughs> that I have been living in lately. They're from Esprit. I really like the festive pattern on them. And then I've ordered loads of these from Falk, which you can also get on Amazon for Charlie for Christmas. These are gonna go in his stocking because it's pretty much the only sock brand that he wears. He's a little bit obsessed with Falk. I love these slightly more kind of typical classic Christmas jumpers. I just thought this one was a really nice neutral Christmas jumper. I love the, the turtleneck, neutral shades that's gonna go very easily with everything. I just think cozy afternoons by the fire, sipping hot chocolate in a classic Christmas jumper. Absolutely perfect. And then I also wanted a few more just really comfy, casual jumpers for wearing on those days when I'm not planning on leaving the house. Great layering pieces for when I am gardening and going outside. They also stock loads from Vera Moda on Amazon. So I picked this one up. It is so unbelievably soft. It's kind of like a pink mull material. So this is the Vera Moda jumper. It is quite literally the softest, coziest, most snuggly jumper I think I have in my entire collection. The only real design detail is this kind of double cuff. And as I mentioned, it's this gray not grey, pink marl material. So it just looks really, really classic and cosy and it's not too thick. I feel like in this house, I don't want anything that's too thick because actually, much to my delight, this house is actually really, really warm when we have got the fires on downstairs. We do, we have to actually have our underfloor heating just ticking because where it's getting well, it's getting literally freezing at night, it would actually cause the water in the pipes to freeze if we didn't have the heating on. So that's a good excuse for us to leave our heating on. So this house is actually pretty, um, pretty warm, which anyone that comes and visits us at Christmas will be very relieved to hear. 
Obviously, if you go too close to the windows, because they're single paned, and it's a really windy day today, it's actually not chucking out too much cold. But basically, because the house isn't freezing, I don't wanna wear anything too thick and chunky when I am doing household chores, like I am doing it today. So this is absolutely perfect for wearing around the house. And here we have the absolute classic Christmas knit. I could do with actually giving this a bit of steam. I might actually tuck it into the leggings, which as I mentioned are amazing. These were a great find from Amazon Find. <laughs> <laughs> they're so so high-waisted I just think they look really really flattering sometimes I like to just tuck the front of a jumper into my leggings it just makes it a little bit more flattering I love this look this is such a cozy afternoon by the fire and yet if I need to go out I've got my practical boots on so yeah this is another great outfit head to toe found through Amazon fashion what I'm gonna do now because not because this video is in partnership with Amazon, but just because I genuinely think it is going to be really, really useful. I'm going to go downstairs and um, put together a bit of a, a bit of a last minute Amazon gift guide because after this video goes up, Amazon is pretty much going to be the only place that we can get last minute Christmas gifts. And I heard a crazy fact the other day that 52% of people will do their Christmas shopping this week or like the bulk of it this week. And there was some insane figure like in the billions about how much will be spent over the next couple of days. So I feel like it'd be really useful to put together an Amazon Christmas super duper trooper last minute Christmas gift guide. So if that, well, that will be done by the time you see this video tomorrow. So I'll leave it linked in the description box down below. And I do actually have an Amazon shop page. So I've done like edits of my favorite tech things on Amazon, my favorite beauty things. Um, and after today, I will have my favorite gifts on Amazon. So you can basically go to my shop and I always update it with the things I am always buying from Amazon. So there's even a section where you can see like where I buy, where I bulk buy my oat milk. It's really practical. But if you ever wondered what I buy from Amazon, you can see it in that link. So again, I'll leave that link down below, but I'm gonna leave this jumper on now. It looks so cute and cozy. I have to make some gingerbread ice cream this afternoon as a trial run ahead of Christmas. I need to get that made in the thumb mix. So that's gonna be, after doing my Amazon bits, my next thing on my to-do list. few hours later we have actually just been taking a few snaps a few festive snaps by the Christmas tree and also some final uh, reel clips that I needed to do for some very festive reels the day that you're watching this is the day that my Instagram is gonna have a festive makeover for this whole um, week between now and probably boxing day my Instagram is just going to be a festive explosion. So I was just getting a couple of really lovely snaps for that here in the house by the Christmas tree. Thought I'd pop my bobble hat on. And now, or I don't know what it is. Maybe it's Mercury in retrograde or whatever it's called. But none of my technology seems to be working. My internet is slower than the glaciers in the Alps. <laughs> my iMovie is taking about 10 million years to export a video. So I'm actually just gonna walk away. I'm gonna save myself the stress of walk away from the technology for the rest of, well, for the next hour because I need to make gingerbread ice cream. So, as I mentioned, this is a test run for Christmas. So I'm gonna make some gingerbread ice cream in Thermix. I think I got the recipe online. So I'm gonna get the ingredients and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, I've got all the ingredients out. So to make our gingerbread ice cream, we have got some double cream, some whole milk. I've got a vanilla pod, ground ginger, and some mixed spice. Six eggs, caster sugar, light brown sugar, and the recipe said golden syrup, which I don't have, but I do have this lovely maple syrup, which I'm hoping is gonna be the same thing. So we have to start by whizzing up the vanilla, split lengthways, seeds scraped and pod, and the full cream milk in here. All the ingredients are now in, and it is very slowly stirring, cooking up to 90 degrees for eight minutes. So I'm gonna do my tidying up in the meantime. I have got a load of egg whites left over because the recipe only wanted egg yolks. So 
even though it's half past two, oh shoot, <laughs> even though I'm a little bit late, I haven't um, made myself lunch yet. So I'm gonna make myself an egg white omelette instead of throwing these away. I think we've got some spinach and other bits and bobs in the fridge that I can throw in for good measure. I know an omelette is really basic, but I actually really don't make omelettes very often, so I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing. I've just moved it to the higher heat. Was I meant to scramble it first? I don't know. I guess egg whites don't really need mixing. It's starting to cook now, so I think I'm gonna add in my spinach leaves. Okay, this is looking quite good. There is nothing I hate more than gooey, runny egg white. So I'd rather this get slightly burnt so then I have gooey egg white left in the middle. So I'm just gonna leave it on here for a few more minutes. I might try and flip it. You're probably thinking, Josie, this is so basic. But if you don't do things very often, then you don't get good at it. So this is my first ever egg white omelet attempt. It's like a giant fried egg, isn't it? I have to say, I highly rate my pink pans. I don't use them very often, but they are wonderful. Very non-slip, as you can see. Well, I think that is the healthiest lunch I have ever made myself, an egg white and spinach omelette. The um, Thermomix concoction is done, so when I've eaten my lunch, I'm gonna pour it into here. Then you have to wait for it to cool down and then pluck out the vanilla pods, and then it goes in the freezer. So the ice cream is now in the freezer, and in 10 hours time, so basically tomorrow morning, I have to take it out, then I have to whiz some ginger nut biscuits, hobnobs, in the Thermomix, and then the Thermomix I think like whisks the two together, and then I refreeze for another few hours. So it's quite time consuming, um, but that's all I can do for now. I didn't actually tell you this yet, but tonight is my work Christmas dinner. <laughs> So I do have a local assistant. So Charlie and I, Lucy and her boyfriend James, we're all gonna go out for dinner at a place called the Wild Rabbit tonight. So I'll catch up with you a bit later when I'm getting ready for that, about to go. For now, I have got my laptop out and the internet is still being really slow and my laptop is still playing up. So I don't know how productive I'm gonna be. So I'm gonna pop The Holiday, my favorite Christmas film on, in the background while I get my work done. So I'll catch up with you in a few hours. What have you got there, Lin Lin? Chicky Lin, what have you got? We have just had a delivery. Both Charlie and I have received a box each from Echo. Echo Huga Soft. Let's have a look at what is inside here. I was not expecting this. A Danish word for quality of coziness, feeling warm, comfortable, and safe. Don't we all want to feel Huga at this time of year? So, of course, Echo is a Danish brand. Oh, this is so kind of them. That is so lovely. It's been amazing working with Echo this year. Oh my goodness. These look like an absolute dream. I don't know if these... Oh, they are Echo. I actually did not know that Echo did slippers. How amazing is that? They look so comfortable. I was just saying I need a new pair of house shoes. That is perfect timing. Oh, and a pair of black leather gloves. That is so sleek. I wonder again if these are actually Echo. I guess they do make gloves. Beautifully soft, warm, water resistant, and touch screen enabled. Blimmin' heck, that is amazing. They've also popped in a Huga scented candle. That sounds heavenly. Some Echo cable knit socks. So cozy, oh my goodness. And to finish it all off, the little book of Huga, the Danish way to live well. What a wonderful idea. That is so, so kind, very, very thoughtful and perfect for these chilly winter evenings. Thank you so much to Echo. Okay, it's a little bit later now and I am ready for our fashion mumbler Christmas dinner. As I mentioned, we are going, just the four of us, to the Wild Rabbit nearby. Luckily they have outside space so we can have a socially distanced, COVID safe, 
Christmas dinner. I have popped on just, I just wanted to be very comfortable because to be honest, I am gonna be eating a lot tonight. <laughs> so I have got on this jumper dress that I did get, you guessed it, from Amazon. And then I have added my faux fur gilet and boots from Reese. So I think this is a perfect, cozy, but nice outfit for our Christmas dinner. Now I'm gonna go and help Charlie make some cocktails, a non-alcoholic for him and a slightly alcoholic one for me as a little pre-dinner tipple and then it's time to go. Mm -hmm. 